Hello and welcome to today's video. We are currently still searching for the uh, hotline in order to contact the board or possibly contact the old director a bit more to start get a bit more information from him. In the last episode we gained the power of telekinesis which is really cool and this environment just fell apart that's really cool as well. Um, we also watched a creepy uh, children's TV show or something that was unpleasant. But uh, yeah, we're just going to keep exploring and see how far we can get. Frames are having a slight issues here, but hopefully it won't be a big deal. In general, I seem to be doing alright with the game. Uh, it seems to be a bit more of a drain on my computer than I was hoping. But that's fine. Nice Bureau Archivist, 12 out of 120. Okay. That's an achievement that just popped up. So I guess if I get 120 pieces of uh, data, I'll get that achievement. You can see things are starting to get highlighted now that are sort of nearby that I could pick up. That wasn't happening before. What way do I go? Let's look on that. Trying to get to that room there with all of the, uh, the yellow around it and question marks. Don't think this way is going to be very helpful. Um, that way, where I came from, this way seems to be looking back towards the room I want to get to. And I'm assuming all this voice in the background is because something's happening at the comms department. Ah! Can't get in the mail room. I don't have the e there's a key nearby. They're in level one. Nice. Must open the door. Ooh. Ooh. Control point. Nice. That's what we wanted. I'm just going to quickly use it just to make sure that this is the one I'm uh, linked to. All right, so I've got myself a key card. Uh, let's check the bathrooms. Ooh, very dark. Can't see anything. Very dark. Can't see anything. Hopefully there's nothing in there. Roll point. Oh, there's a shelter here. Maybe there's something in there. There we go. And we got a box. Which has in it personal mod energy boost. Under. Got the health boost on the moon. I've already got an inch boost one I could put on, give me an extra 6%, but considering that my current ability uses half my uh, energy, that extra 6% isn't going to make much of a difference. Whereas the health boost will make a difference, so I'm going to use that. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Funky music. Us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy, thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's suspicion. I was in room 47. Perfect aim. Night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular nap. The manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the order that motel bed sent out. And the body <laughs> had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there sleeping with the corpse of foot below. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark. Stuck. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. <sighs> there you have it, listeners. 
Hello. Not even any of you. Oh. I like it. <laughs> I do like it. That's really good. But yeah, it's very satisfying that telekinesis. Um, on top of the moment, that door's locked. Is that camera looking at me? Well, it is. Someone's watching. Wonder who? Must be the board, really. It's the only people it could be. Oh, I have clearance. Well, someone's going on in there, isn't it? hurting me yes okay I can't go in there yet definitely can't go into that stuff yet I might need some sort of new ability like a shield ability maybe or um, maybe new equipment oh god Not so much a boss, but a, a tougher enemy. <laughs> I hit him with it on the way to me. That was good. Yes. I think at the start of the last episode, I got a tooltip. Uh, it, well, it might have been before I started recording. It said uh, the key to combat is to use your powers in conjunction with the service weapon. And I think I get it, because that was, that was good. That was satisfying combat, that was. Anything else in this room? That door's been sealed. Not really then. Got some materials. Uh, and I got some some lore stuff, so that's good. Now let's go down this way. It should bring me kind of where I came in. Uh, yeah, I came in there. Okay. I should. Yeah, clearance level 1. I can get in here now. Okay. They can fly now. A massy. Great. Guess I have to use my new power. Get him, he's escaping. Go in, what's he doing? I think he just ran away. Okay. I have a feeling he'll be yeah. back. Yes, I'm not supposed Resting to kill the focus. first boss. <laughs> the hotline should be past the mail room. I guess it's that way, the hotline chamber, but I'm gonna have a look around first. See if there's any boxes or secret rooms, creepy videos again, or anything like that. Some law stuff, I can take that. Hotline chamber again, so I guess it's above us because you can go out through any of the stairwells. Yep, it does not look like there's much else. So, go up. Check this floor. This is no stamina for sprinting because I'm using a lot of that. Yep, unlock that door. I was already out there, so that's fine. What else we got around this way? I'll have to go back as well and check to see if I can open any of those uh, uh, one level one clearance doors. You know, now I've got the clearance. Yeah, I guess the hotline chamber's in here. It's through there, I can see it. Alright, take this down. This oh, that's him. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. 
Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds an alternate item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? <laughs> Yeah, altered items. That's the term for objects of power that can't be controlled. Altered items. Okay, so that. And the hotline can't be far. Up to the hotline. Oh, and chamber. It's ringing. <laughs> of course, it's ringing. Hey, look at him. Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The light switch cord. Look at all this. So that sound can't come out. Alright, don't step forward. That's what we've learned. That thing that gets you dead. Don't don't do it. Don't fall into an abyss. Covered in spikes. All right, so we're back here at this control point. Uh, this should all be dealt with and cleared. Yeah, it doesn't actually reset your progress. It just puts you back to that point. Looks like enemies and things don't respawn. Okay, so now let's not fall into the abyss. And try and figure out how to cross this thing. Catalyst light switch, the law of three applies. Gets two and then three. Whoa. Oh. Have we been here before? I didn't read no. what it said about the Ocean View Motel. <laughs> I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road. The run under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. Okay. Yeah, I am. Um, didn't read what it said about the uh, hotel. I just read laws of three. So I can't go back and look at it. Can't use any of these doors. So I have to use one of these doors that's over here. PI thing, upside down triangle, locked. Oh, there's another light switch. Okay, so I do that. Okay, and again, and I'm back, right. So this says, pressure through motel and casino entry point, countless light switch, all three applies. Special achievement required. Egypt must orient an anchor motel to their personal frequency. Okay, so it doesn't actually say. But we want this one can be well, jiggled for some reason. Can't be accessed. I have to use three times as well. Maybe. Something happened. Something definitely happened. Uh, is it opening different... Doors, maybe?
Yes, it is. Okay. Right, so what's in this room? Because uh, I pressed the bell and a new door opened, but there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Um, do we need a specific one of these doors open in order for this door of it to open, maybe? Trial and error. Hmm. Try again. New one's opened. Uh, yes. Oh. Key. The key has a black pyramid on it. Nice. Okay. That means I can go in the black pyramid. So I was kind of right. Three. Ah, and now we have a path. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, here we go. Hotline time. <laughs> Alright, complete the challenge. Wasn't expecting this, I was expecting a cutscene. to contract extra dimensional entities. The even more sort of reason. Jesus. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, come all the way back here. Even more reason to think that these um board are not human. I think I think I need to get him Okay. I have no idea. I, th I guess I just get past them. Turn around that way. This way and just jump. I feel like I'm missing something, but it's working, so let's just keep going. Phone's ringing. Yeah. You can contact us slash past selves in the hotline slash co uh, collective menu. Flexible menu. It is a phone. Here we go. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. Oh, you already met Tomasi. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. It looks like I have the they names for a couple of people. Hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. Just uh go to hotline control points. Oh, okay. So he can tell me bits about the. Uh, it took us a long time to learn. Tell us a bit about this stuff. Control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. 
no one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling was right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? Interesting. So I think Darling was the head of the R&D department and he created those devices that the uh, people who are still people are wearing on their chest to keep them safe. Okay. So there's a couple of things here, but uh, I might look at those I need to get back to Emily. at a different point. I'm going to leave that episode there People react after strongly she's finished talking. When I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Okay, so we're going to leave that there. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.